What's up, everybody? It's G with Bushwick Service coming at you live from my hallway with a few tips and tricks to level up your next installation. First, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting. Don't forget, in the profile is a link to my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you like or not. So we're going to keep this one short, sweet, and demonstrative. What are some things you can bring to your next install to make it a bit easier for yourself and make yourself look better in the eyes of the client? First thing, bumpers. These are literally about a dime a dozen and they are a lifesaver. They have adhesives on the back, just like that. All you have to do is put them on each corner and it serves two purposes. One, when you're hanging the piece, you don't have to worry about scratching the wall and looking like an idiot. And two, uh, if the piece has the D-rings on the outside, this will make it a little bit more level. So the piece will be flush along the wall, or at least even along the wall rather, instead of having a crooked shadow on it. So these are great, you pull these out and people's eyes light up because they see something they really haven't seen all the time. So these are great to have. Again, they're a dime a dozen. I think I got uh, sheets of these for about $5. Two, we all have laser levels in the bag. They're cool to bring out. You bring out the tripod, you make it look all nice with the X and Y axis, you look fucking cool, right? It just takes a lot of time and a lot of time it's overkill. So I got this, this is a Ryobi level. It costs $21 and runs on AA batteries. I love it. Let me show you how it works. One, it has a suction on the back, so it'll stick to the wall. Use it with caution though. Some walls will leave an imprint. You gotta use a magic eraser. It's best to just hold it at an angle so it doesn't actually suction. But let me show you right here. You have your spirit level. All you do is get it right there in the middle, flick the switch, and you're good to go. I love it. If you don't want it to stick to the wall, like I said, just hold it at an angle and you can move it around. It's really helpful when you have pieces that are longer than your level or going across like 100 or 200 inches. Uh, this will really help you get the marks you need to get on the axis. On the axis. Three, a scale. I love bringing a scale with me. Why? Because it helps you get the exact weight of a piece you're hanging. Uh, some of you guys do the industry standard double the weight uh, for your hardware. So if you have an 80 pound piece, you want to use at least 150, 160 pounds of anchors. Uh, how do you do it with a scale? Well, you don't just put the piece on the scale. First, put the scale on the ground, <coughs> weigh yourself. That number is nobody's business. Then take your piece. Imagine I have it in my hand, stand on the scale, do a little addition by subtraction. And now you know, how, now you know how much the piece weighs. No more guessing. Four. Okay. Bring these on site. I love having them. You don't need to bring the dice in. This is from my house. I don't bring this one to site. I use a Milwaukee. Uh, I use a Milwaukee one and it uses the same battery as my drills. It's great to have. Uh, some people do this. They'll take a fucking, they'll do this bad boy here. They'll drill and then this will catch it. You can do it. It looks a little silly. You could also do both. Do it, and then when you're done, vacuum below. The cat did not like that. Bonus round, we're gonna do a quick trick and we're gonna take it to my other hallway. Whoa. Here we go. Coming at you live from my other hallway. It's a pre-war apartment, we got plenty of them. Okay, check it out, look at this piece. Watch what happens when someone, a kid, someone who's looking at your piece at a house party, touches it. It goes back, right? For the most part goes right back to where it was. How is that happening? Well, let me show you. Ta-da, two hooks. If you use two hooks, it helps keep the piece more stable. There's really not more than that. How do you do it? Easy, take your bullet level. Obviously you'd be wearing gloves, but save the gloves for the healthcare professionals. Simply take your bullet level, put it across, get a level, make your measurement from there. Really easy. Then you put two hooks in the wall, and it keeps it stable. It's a cool trick. You can learn something every day. No one knows everything. I learned that from a, a client art star. They showed me that years ago and I said, holy shit, pretty good idea. I'm gonna do that uh, moving forward from now on. So, fun trick. All right, now we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. See you next time. Be safe.